Hello children, a very warm welcome from my side. A very good morning to all of you and in class 11th English. Our next topic today for examination point of view, periodical 2 examination tenses. So in grammar we have only two, uh, we have two topics. One is determiners and other is tenses. So today we are going to look for tenses. Now what is tenses? Tenses is a category that expresses time reference. Means tenses tell us about time or rather time has three, we have three types of times. One is the present tense, another is the past tense and then the third one is the future tense. Okay, so uh, the time is of three types that is present, past and future. We all know what is present tense means which is happening currently or which is at present. Now past tense. Past tense, the thing which has already happened. Okay. And the future tense is what is going to happen in the future is called as future tense. So, time in the terms of tenses is of three types. Present, past and future. Now, another tense has four different aspects also that today we are going to look for it. What are those four aspects? So all of you are requested to sit along with your pen and copy so that you can write it down and uh, then uh, explanation part will be going on. So four aspects of tense are there. That is number one is simple. Then number two is continuous number three is perfect and number four is perfect continuous perfect continuous so these are the four categories or rather aspects of tense okay so we have three seen the time uh, tense is of three types uh, three times are there in tense and aspects are of four types that is number one is simple number two is continuous number three is perfect and number four is perfect continuous so when this time and aspects actually are joined then we get 12 types of tenses in English okay so we are going to read about or learn about this 12 types of tenses so let's see what are those type of tenses uh, when time and aspects are actually can come together so you can make along with me a chart it will be better for your understandability that what are those things when time and aspects combine. So when time and aspect combine, then we get 12 type of tenses. Okay? A time uh, what uh, types of tenses we have? We have present, we have past, we have future. And from aspect viewpoint, we have simple, continuous, then perfect, and then perfect continuous tense. Now, let's make a chart to understand how it works like this. Okay. Come on, make along with me. First one will be the present tense, then past tense, and then future. Okay? This is the future. And from aspect point of view, we are having four. So we will make four different columns. One, two, three and four. What are those four uh, aspects? 
then they are simple okay then we have continuous continuous then we have perfect and we have perfect continuous so from time part of you we have three and from aspect part of you we have four types of tenses okay my dear children from aspect point of view we have four types of tenses and from time part of view we have three types of tenses so when these combine what different types of tenses we are going to get and in detail we are going to study what are those tenses so number one is when in the present it will become simple present okay then simple continuous uh, sim, uh, can, uh, we, it will become simple past and it will become simple future okay then it will become continuous tense it will become present continuous present perfect and it will become present perfect continuous present perfect continuous it will become past continuous it will become pa past perfect and it will become past perfect continuous okay when these two combine this is the way then it will become simple future it will become uh, future continuous or progressive future future continuous then it will become future perfect and future perfect continuous future perfect continuous so this is the combination and we are getting four of 12 type of tenses first is present and simple so simple present Sim uh, present continuous, present perfect, perfect uh, pre present perfect continuous. For past, simple past, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous. And for future, we have simple future, future continuous, future perfect, and future perfect continuous. So this is a chart which you can note down and actually it is very easy to understand how this time and aspect combine to form 12 different types of tenses. So one by one we are going to look for it. So sit along with your pen and copies. First of all note down and then we will be heading for the explanation part. Okay. So we are going to see this tenses in a detailed manner what all things are there and with a very easy pattern I would like to tell you first of all we are going to look for simple present tense okay simple present tense write it down in your copy first of all is simple present tense and simple present tense what is noted down explanation I will be giving you things in general next point is happening all time Next important point you can notice repeatedly. 
Okay. Example you can note down is I take my breakfast every day and second one you can be go to school. Okay. Okay. Now simple present tense. It's very very simple. Simple present tense is th things which are actually in general. Simple present tense talks about the general things. Okay. It is happening all the time. It's happening all the time. It is not necessary uh, that uh, the action is actually being done uh, at the time when you speak. This you can note down. Okay. It's not necessarily that the action is done at the time when you speak. And it is a repeated type of action which is actually uh, kept on repeating every day. So that is called a simple present tense. For example, I take my breakfast every day and we go to school. So uh, these things are actually these uh, are very important that you keep in your mind things are of which are in general which are happening uh, all the time or rather a repeated action but it's not necessary that the action is happening at the time of when you speak okay so this is the first tense we have seen simple present tense now second we are going to see present continuous tense Okay, so write it down uh, about it and then we are going to study what it is. Present continuous tense. Number two is present continuous. We are talking about present tense now. Present continuous tense. So what are the important points? First of all, note it down in your copy and then understandability will be there. It is, very first important point is happening in and around in and around at the around the time of speaking. Okay, second important point is action is not finished and it is written as is, am, are plus verb plus ing. Okay, the sentence construction will be like this and example will be Girls are playing. I am watching TV. So, the very important thing in this present continuous is it is happening at the time when the speaker is telling something. So it is happening at the time of speaking. Action at present is going on, but action, it is not necessary that action will be completed at the time of speaking only. So this is a great difference in uh, present continuous tense. Action is going on at the time when the speaker is telling you, but it is not necessary that action will be completed at that time. So the sentence construction will be is, am, are plus verb, okay, verb plus ing. Always continuous we apply ing. Now the examples are girls are playing. Okay, girls are playing. Verb is play, ing form. I am watching TV. Okay, again 
it is present girls are playing means they are playing they have finished the playing that has that is not certain so it is not necessary that the action will be completed in present continuous tense it is a thing that the a very most key thing is that it is actually the action is happening around the time of speaking that is the very important thing you need to remember that action will be happening in and around means at that particular time when you are speaking but it is not necessary that it will be completed at the time of speaking okay that's why we always apply verb v plus ing form okay now we are going to look at the third form that is present uh sorry that is perfect perfect continuous tense so note it down note it down in your copies perfect present perfect tense present perfect tense so the value point in this is it gives information about information about an action recently completed an action recently recently completed Okay, another value point is you can write is some action in the past which is completed now or having the result. Some action in the past and had and res and result is now. Okay, that is the word. Or that are uh, and have the result now. Or is it now? What is the form of it? Sorry. First of all, we will look for the form. So form is it is has have plus has or have plus. We have third form of verb. Okay. Has have a third form of the verb. John has lost his key. Example, you can write down. John has lost his keys. Okay, this can be the example. Or another example is I have forgotten your name. I have forgotten. your name so look for it present perfect tense talks about it means that the action just now had completed action just now completed or the initiation was in the past and it just completed right now or result we are uh, actually seeing at present so it is it talks about basically completion of the action whereas in continuous tense action was going on at the time of speaking but it was there was no uh, significance or there was no surety that whether the action is completed or not but here it is that recently the action has been completed or it has been started in the past but now just now it is completed so we have has or have plus third form of the word like john has lost his keys and i have forgotten your name so has and have along with the third form of the verb so this is very clear that is present perfect continuous now so it is present uh, perfect uh, sorry it is present perfect tense only not continuous we will deal with present perfect continuous this is present perfect tense okay now it is present perfect fourth form is present uh, just now we deal with present perfect tense now we are going to deal with present perfect continuous tense
Present perfect. This is the fourth form. Present perfect continuous. So note it, note it down first, and then we are going to write it. Uh, explain about it. Activity that continues. Activity that continues from the past from the past until now until now okay or activity recently stopped Okay, and we have form as has, have, plus be, plus verb, plus ing. Okay, and the example, he has been working under the sun since morning. So, uh, we lastly saw the present perfect tense in which we saw that the action has been completed just now. Okay, it has started in the in past and completed now. Now, present perfect continuous. Activity that continues from the past. And until now, activity started in the past and is actually continuing till now. That is included in present perfect continuous. Whereas in present perfect, it has been stopped. Though it started, but it stopped at present. Here the difference is it started in the past, but it is continuing. Or that activity which has been recently stopped is also included uh, in the present perfect continuous. So we will use has, have, been, were plus ing form will be there. So the structure of it is has, have, been, were plus ing. Like he has been working under the sun since morning. So has is be there, been is there, work, verb is there, ing form is there. Okay, like this it is present uh, perfect continuous. So we have finished the present tense. So we have seen in present tense simple present means Things which are happening uh, uh, in general, which are repeatedly happen. It is not necessary that the action, which uh, action is going to take place at the time of the speaking only. Second, we saw that the present continuous tense in which the action is going on, there is no certainty of actually stopping or action has been stopped. Third, we saw present perfect tense in which we have seen that uh, how the recently the action has been stopped. And in the last one, which present perfect continuous activity, which actually started in the past, but it is continuing, it has not stopped or recently just stopped, but it is actually continuing at present. So the form is has, have been, were plus ing. So four forms in present tense we studied. Now we will move for the past tense. So take out your copies and write down about the past tense. Okay, so the next tense which we are going to take is past tense. Okay. At, at this point, I cannot tell what type of questions will be formulated as many of the things have been eliminated or rather deleted from your syllabus of class 11th English. Even editing one has been deleted. So we exactly no, don't know what CBS is planning for you. Which type of exercise they can be giving you. Let's see when the updations will come for it. So now we will be moving ahead with the past tense. Okay. 
Till now we have seen all the four aspects of uh, present tense, now past tense. Simple past. Number one, we will be going doing simple past. So write it on your copy what is simple past tense and we will be dealing with it. Action completed in the past. Okay. Write it down first of all. Action completed in the past. Second thing is action happened at a specific point of time. Action happened at a specific point of time. The third value point in this is past habit or past action. Past habits or past action. Okay, past habit or past action uh, that happened immediately after the other. Past habits or past action uh, immediately Okay, so let's see the structure and the example. First of all, write it down. Write down. It may be like uh, I, you, she, it, they played. Verb second form. It is affirmative type of sentence. Then second example I can give you about uh, same I, you, she, it, we, they. It may be they didn't play. It may be negative sentence. And then here also it will be verb first form no? and third one they play question mark verb uh, we can take first form yes interrogative so here we see that in simple past, it is very easy to understand that action is completed in the past. Already action has been completed. There is no uncertainty that action is going on or action is taking place. When It, it is very simple to understand simple past that action is already completed. Just remember it. Or action happened in a specific point of time. Piche kabhi hua hai past me. It had happened somewhere at some point of time. Time. Need not to confuse this past habits or past action. It need to understand what are your past habits like that. Okay. So, uh, things which has actually been completed in the past can be taken as a simple past tense. Uh, like uh, you can use I, you, she, it, we also. They played. Verb second form and this is called as affirmative sentence. Okay. So how you can frame out the sentence is also this type of sentence. The first one can be they played can be affirmative sentence. Okay. Now same I, you, she, it, we. They, uh, we. they didn't play. Verb first form. They didn't play. So it is a first form negative type of sentence. Okay, then same I, you, she, it, they play question mark. Question mark, then it is an interrogative type of sentence. So in this way, you can form these simple past uh, 10 sentences. Now second one is past continuous. Write down in your copies, the second part of the past tense is past continuous we are going to deal with. Okay.
fast continuous fast continuous tense okay in this was were okay plus were first form plus ing very easy to understand an action first value point is an action that was in progress that was in progress at a stated time in the past at a stated time in the past okay an action or sorry a past action a past action which was in progress which was in progress when another action interrupted it when another action interrupted it okay two or more actions were happening at the same time two or more actions were happening at the same time i will give the examples of it later on let's see i know there is no space now first of all it is a past continuous means something in the past was actually continued for a certain period of time structure will be was were means oblique was or were plus were first form plus ing will be there means past continuous is ing will be there an action that was in progress at a stated time in past means in past uh, time the action was in uh, for a time period it was in a continuous tense okay in a progress part it was not completed for that particular state of time a past action which was in progress when another action interrupted it means the action was going on when some other actions tried to stop it so it was in a continuous motion and two or more actions were happening at the same time so the value point of the past number 1 is past continuous the action was actually continued for a certain period of time in the past tense okay uh, a, a particular action was actually uh, in a progress when another action tried to stop it or two actions were going simultaneously together so these uh, are uh, this are the key points uh, included in the past continuous when this actions will be there it will be referred as past continuous okay for a stated period of, of time that action was not completed before we try to stop it was in a continuous state so uh, what we can be how you can form the affirmative or negative or interrogative sentences let's see write down in your copy that also i he she i he she it okay was playing was playing it is again affirmative sentence then second one is again i he she it it is wa wasn't playing wasn't playing it will be a negative sentence okay it will be a negative sentence and the third one again i he she it was i it sorry i it with it play question mark interrogative 
so three types of sentences can be formed using this way we have seen how the sentence construction will be was where plus verb first form plus ing will be used so it will be i he she it was playing it will be affirmative sentence wasn't playing it will be a negative sentence was was playing is a question mark it will be an interrogative sentence okay so second uh, third we will be seeing is past perfect tense okay the third we will be seeing is past perfect tense in past tense third we will be seeing is past perfect tense past perfect tense okay so the value points here will be we talk about an action actually an action which was finished which was finished before another action before another action in the past before another action in the past okay uh expressions like we can use we, you can call it like before already after or just when and never are used okay examples rohit had already left the party when we arrived yes rohit had already left rohit had already left when we arrived at the party yes then we arrived at the party second one little bit easy i would like to give you let's see everything seemed normal at first okay let's see what is there in past perfect tense action which was finished it got finished action got finished when it finished before another action in the past it actually got finished before another action started or before the another action so words like before already after or such expressions just when and never can be used in framing such sentences of past perfect tense it, uh, it simply means action got stopped it got completed it got finished before an another action example it's very easy rohit had already left rohit had already left when we arrived at the party so when we arrived at the party he already left so one action already got completed before the another action everything seemed normal at first okay everything seemed normal at first this is more relatively easy than this to understand so an action actually got finished or completed before an another sec action is your key part for past perfect tense so the last one which we are going to look in uh, past tense is uh, past perfect continuous tense okay so take out your copies and write it down past perfect continuous tense okay it is past fourth is past perfect continuous tense so past 
perfect continuous tense we are dealing with it is deal with about an action about an action which started and finished in the past okay about an action which started and finished in the past okay before another past action before another past action okay and it put the emphasis on duration or rather focuses on focus on duration okay this is the basic point second key point is an action which lasted for some time an action which lasted for some time and results are still visible and result are still visible and the third key point is uh rather it's it's, it's made it simple okay made it simple and expressions we can use is like still not still i think it can be it can be since or until okay these expressions let's see if we have space we can write the example over here it is she had been painting her room she had been painting her room she had been painting her room and her clothes were covered in paint and her clothes were covered in paint so my dear children uh, there is a little bit difference between the perf perfect continuous and past perfect continuous sorry past perfect and past perfect continuous in every tense perfect and past per and perfect continuous has a small difference like about an action which started and finished in the past so very very sim simple thing action actually start hua start hua aur past mein hi kya hua finish ho gaya okay before and another action it actually started in the past it finished in the past tense and the focus is on the duration how for how long it was there and second point is an action which lasted for some time there was some and we can still see its result okay that is also included in past perfect continuous means it definitely started in the past but it is still going on okay one is it started in the past it actually completed in the past before another action and action which was started in the past but still we are able to see it like uh, expressions of since and until can be used so example is she had been painting her room and her clothes were covered in paint okay means she had been painting her room from since quite long time from few from few hours and her clothes were covered in paint means action is still going on so this type of second implication is implied over here okay my dear children so here we have covered our past tense in which simple past were there means action which was already has taken in a past and uh, we have we have seen the second one past continuous in the past that action was continuous uh, for a specific period of time when the speaker talks about it uh, the third is a past perfect it actually completed recently in the sometime in the past and past perfect continuous 
tense is we talk about how uh, we were saying that how where there were two categories number one is it started in the past it completed it started in the past still going on okay so these are the two aspects now we will are moving ahead for the future future tense third type of tense so the third very very easy i hope for you because some peculiarities are there uh, in the future one some peculiar words are there which is very much visible words therefore it is very easy for you to get <coughs> excuse me so take out your copies and write it down future so very first we are going for present future present future in that we have simple future okay we have simple future in which we use will shall plus verb first form okay to denote the action examples are write it down we shall go for a picnic tomorrow we shall go for a picnic tomorrow second one you can write he will reach by 5:30 pm he will reach by 5:30 pm okay another one also you wrote that name noted down first of all then third second one is future progressive future progressive and then we will go for future perfect future perfect okay will shall is in this we will have will or shall plus be plus verb for, for first form plus ing we shall be playing football this evening we shall be playing football this evening and in future perfect shall or will shall or will plus have plus verb second form no no it will be verb third form okay we have we will we will have completed the book it can be written in this form also shall or will plus have plus been plus verb first form plus ing here i write my example of that they will have been eating for some time so the explanation part is really really simple you need to remember this simple future will shall will or shall plus verb first form we shall go for a picnic tomorrow very simple will or shall plus verb first form future progressive definitely will shall plus be plus i ever first form plus ing okay it is very very important will shall or be uh, sorry will or shall or be uh, sorry plus be plus verb first form ing we shall be playing football this evening okay future perfect shall will 
plus have a verb third form like we will have completed the book or it can be written as shall will have been verb first form plus ing okay so they will have been eating for some time so here simple future is very easy here it is will or shall plus verb first form then future progressive it is will or shall plus verb uh, plus be plus verb form uh, verb form first form and ing sorry and third is shall will shall will have plus verb third form or shall will have be plus verb first form and ing will be there another form in this is past future okay so write it down the last one in this future is past future past future we have four aspects in the past future tense we have four aspects simple future future progressive so first we will look for simple future second part of it is past future tense we have first one is simple future simple future is would plus verb first form he would go to play he would go to play second can be future progressive write along with me and then you can understand it will be would plus b plus verb first form plus b plus verb first form plus i and g okay an example will be he would be going to play a match at 8 pm he would he would be going to play the match at 8 pm okay so past future tense first one is simple future very very easy would laga dena hai verb ka first form lagana hai he would go to play he would go to play simple future progressive again progressive is there ing will be there would be verb first form ing he would be going to play the match at 8 pm so what is there b is there verb first form go plus ing will be there okay now next will be future perfect third one is future perfect and in this we have would plus have would plus have plus verb third form he would have eaten by the time you come he would have eaten by the time you come fourth one will be future perfect progressive future perfect progressive in this we will be having would plus have plus been would plus have plus been plus verb first form plus ing the children would have been watching the match for 2 hours the children the children would have been watching the match for 2 hours very shortly i have written because i was not having space i want to make you see in this entire space so past future tense simple future would plus verb first form he would go to play very simple future progressive would be verb first form and ing 
future perfect when the perfect means the action has already been completed he would have verb third form he would have eaten by the time you come means it has already has done that action and then future progressive perfect progressive means would have been verb first form plus uh, verb first form plus ing so in progressive or continuous ing in perfect along with would and have you have to verb first form and ing the children would have been watching the match for two hours so here we complete our tense hope you find this video very helpful uh, still uh, very simple exercises may be jotted out regarding this as many of the things from the tenses exercise have been eliminated let's see what cbs is planning so do this in your copy i'm not giving you any homework assignment i will be sending you through the pdf measures do watch the video have a nice day bye bye